In this video, we design a push down automata for the language L is equal to a power n, b power n such that n is greater than 0. If n is equal to 1, the string is a, b. If n is equal to 2, the pattern what it describes is a, a, b, b. If n is equal to 3, it is a, 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 b, b, b and so on. So these are the strings that belong to the given language. Before designing the pushdown automata, let us recollect the transition function of pushdown automata. Already I have discussed what is pushdown automata, how pushdown automata works in my previous video. If you have any doubt, please refer and watch those videos and get back to this video. The transition function of pushdown automata goes like this. From the given state, I mean this Q indicates the current state. On reading the input symbol, on reading the input symbol. So where this input symbol is available? This input symbol is available in the input tape. From the current state, on reading the input symbol, it checks what is available at the top of the stack. If this is the current configuration, the PDA may change its state by pushing or popping the contents onto the stack. This is the way the pushdown automata works. Okay, now let us try to understand the logic, how the pushdown automata to be designed for the given language. I have taken an example where there are three A's followed by three B's. We know that the string belongs to the language. Once again, I remind you all, when we are designing any automata, whether it is finite state machine or pushdown automata or Turing machine, we just think of the strings which belong to the language while designing automata. We do not worry about the strings that do not belong to the language. So here, I have considered a string which belongs to the language. The logic is, when it reads A, it pushes one symbol onto the stack. Let the symbol also be A. You can push any symbol, but I am pushing the symbol A. When it reads the second A, I am pushing one more A onto the stack. When it reads the third A, let us push one more A onto the stack. Now the PDA read all the A's. Now it is going to read the B's. When it starts reading the B's, whatever is available at the top of the stack, pop. Now it is reading the second B, pop. Now it is reading the third B, pop. Now this epsilon indicates the end of the string. When it reaches the end of the string, look at the status of the stack. Stack is empty now. So what is the logic? Whenever it reads A, the pushdown automata wants to remember the count of A so that the count of A it can check later whether it is matching with the count of B's. In order to remember the count of A, whenever it reads A, it pushes one symbol onto the stack. Once it starts reading the B, it pops the symbol out of the stack. After reading the B's, once it reaches the end of the string, the stack also must go empty. Then only the pushdown automata can say the given string in the input tape belongs to this language. So keeping this logic in mind, let us write the transition rule. Already I discussed about the transition rule. Initial state of pushdown automata, let us assume it is Q0. From the state Q0, it is going to read the very first character of the input tape. The very first character, what is expected, is A. When it reads A, the very first A, the stack is empty. So, if this is the current configuration of the PDA, what is the reaction of the PDA? The PDA has to continue to stay in Q0. We know the stack is empty. Above Z0, it has to push the symbol A. Now let us continue writing the next transition rule, del. Again the current state of pushdown automata is Q0. Now the second symbol from the input tape, what pushdown automata may read also A. Now the top of the stack contains A. How it contains A? Because already it read one A, to remember that A, one A is pushed onto the stack. So now the top of the stack contains A. 
when the top of the stack is A, again the PDA continues to stay in Q0, already top of the stack is A, now it pushes one more A onto the stack. This is the way we have to write the transition rules. Now, once again the state of the pushdown automata is Q0. It is reading the third character. Let us assume the third character is also A. Again top of the stack, we can easily guess it is A. The PDA is going to continue to stay in Q0. Already the top of the stack is A. We are going to push one more A onto the stack. If you look into this rule and this rule, it is one and the same. It means this rule is enough to read the second A, third A, fourth A, fifth A, etc. We don't need to repeat this rule again and again. So this rule is executed in loop to read the second A, third A, fourth A, etc. in the string. After some point, the state of PDA is Q0. It reads B. When it reads B, the top of the stack is A. This time, the status changer to Q1 and whatever is available at the top of the stack is replaced by epsilon. It means the top of the stack is removed. Now the state of PDA is Q1. It continue to read the rest of the Bs. There, there is no one B. There may be more than one B. So being in Q1, it continue to read the rest of the Bs. Whenever it reads the B, Every time we expect the top of the stack to contain A. It continue to stay in Q1. Whatever appears at the top of the stack is replaced by epsilon. It means it pops the symbol. Then after reading all the Bs at one point from the state Q1, the pushdown automata would be reading epsilon. When it reads epsilon, it means it reached the end of the string. That time we expect the stack must go empty. If it contains only Z0, the stack is empty. Let us allow the PDA to enter into Q2. Retain that Z0 as it is in the stack. Now the Q2 is the final state or the accepting state. Now whatever the transition rules I discussed, I am going to give an example by explaining the instantaneous description. In my previous video, I already explained what is instantaneous description. Just from an instant, we are going to understand what is the working of PDA in this case. Initial state of PDA is Q0. The string what is available in the input tape is A, 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 B, B, B. And this is indicating the status of the stack. Stack is empty as of now. Now from Q0, it reads this A. What happens at the next instant? continue to stay in Q0. This is the way we have written the transition rule also. See, after reading the, when it reads the first A, we are pushing A. So this is the first A. After reading this A, we push A onto the stack. The remaining string, what the pushdown automata has to read is A, 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 B, B, B. That's all. Now from Q0, it is reading the second A. When it reads the second A, what has to happen? Continue to stay in Q0. It pushes one more A onto the stack. The remaining string in the input tape is A, B, B, B. That's all. Now from the state Q0, it is reading the third A. When it reads the third A, continue to stay in Q0. The string is B, 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 which is yet to be read by the pushdown automata. Now it pushes one more A onto the stack. So till now what has happened? It read three A's. For every A, A is pushed onto the stack. Now it starts reading B. Once it starts reading B, the status changes to Q1. Whenever it reads B, whatever is available at the top of the stack is to be removed or it should be replaced by epsilon. So let me remove it. So the remaining content in the stack is A, A, Z, naught. The remaining input symbols what the pushdown automata has to read is B, B. Now again from Q1, it reads this B. When it reads this B, continue to stay in Q1. 
the remaining input symbol is B. Now whatever is available at the top of this track is to be removed. So it contains A, Z0. Now at the next instant, continue to stay in Q1. It reads the last B. After reading this last B, the input tape contains epsilon. Whatever is available at the top of the stack is removed. Now you see the scenario. It is Q1, epsilon, Z0. Look at the last rule. Q1, epsilon, Z0. If this configuration is reached, the pushdown automata enters into the final state Q2 by emptying the stack. If it enters into the Q2, the string, whatever is there, belongs to the language. Now just I give an overall idea of the states. Initial status Q0. From here it reads A's. The status changed to Q1. From here it reads only the B's. Once it reads epsilon and if the stack is empty also, the state is changed to Q2. So, I can say from Q0 to Q1, the PDA is in the mode of pushing. Once it is changed to Q1, the PDA entered into the mode of pop. So, push down automata is in two modes. One is push, one is pop. From Q0, it continues to push the symbols till it reads B. The state is changed to Q1. From Q1, it continues to pop all the symbols till it reaches the epsilon. I hope you would have understood the working of PDA for this language. Thank you viewers. Please like, share and subscribe my video. For any queries, please comment in the comment section. Thank you.